Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can build your own custom bio site like my one on the page right here, which we're gonna have some awesome animations on it. You're gonna be able to access all of your links. This is not using some external provider like Linktree to get this up and running. We're gonna be building this entire thing from scratch, but using absolutely no code at all. And so the reason that you might wanna do this or the reason that I wanted to do it custom is that using a platform like Linktree, which is one of the most popular, uh, can cost you 20 to 50 Australian dollars. That's about 15 to maybe 30 US dollars every single month just to get quite a basic web page going. So on my page right here, I've got an awesome animation at the background. I've got this cool mouse cursor. I've got a dark mode and a light mode with all of my social media accounts, a bunch of links that I wanna redirect people through. Now you don't have to do this as a buyer site if you want this to be a personal blog or just a personal website for yourself. It's super easy to do that as well. Now to do this, I'm gonna be using Replit, which we're able to prompt our apps into existence. Now, this is not the only platform out there for vibe coding. You can use Lovable, Bolt, plenty of other platforms out there that allow you to do this. I've just chosen Replit. And just to compare this to Tree specifically, if you are looking to get this site up and running, you should be able to get it done on the free plan with some of their trial credits because it is quite a simple site to get up and running. But even if you could upgrade to their Replit core plan, which is what we use because we have multiple different apps that we use internally within our company. Although it's $20 a month, which is about the same price, as Linktree, although you get to build your own many different custom apps. So obviously not to hate on Linktree at all, but this is quite a good value and you can get a really custom site up and running. So this right here is Replit and this is my exact bio site here on Replit. On the left-hand side, what you're gonna see is a big chat interface and this is the Replit agent. So a Replit agent is essentially what we're gonna be talking to and prompting to, just like ChatGPT to build and construct our website. So once again, there's absolutely no coding required whatsoever. We just prompt what we're looking for like ChatGPT and it's gonna populate on our page and then we can just publish this to a public domain. So I'll get started. I'm gonna create a brand new bio site from scratch and I'm just gonna go through the exact same process that I went through to get my site up and running. Obviously, you need to sign up for a Replit account. So create the account and you should land on this page right here, which just looks like a normal AI chat interface. And right here, all we have to do is literally just type directly to Replit, tell it what we're looking for. We want a bio site with these links and this name and this picture, whatever. And it's gonna do it all for us. Before I do that, what I would recommend doing is actually going over to Google and just searching up for some bio site examples. So if you just search up, in this case, I said modern bio site examples. There's a bunch of these out there. Obviously, you can have a look at different styles. So obviously we don't have to come up with a new design in our head uh, and it will let the AI decide what it should be designing. We can come through here and just look at some uh, and find the one that we like. So let's say that I like this one right here, which has some links on the side. It's got sort of like a blurred background, got some social media elements right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my snipping tool or just take a screenshot of this and I'm gonna send this directly to Replit. So I've just copied that image. I can literally just paste it into Replit here and now it's got access to this image and we can just reference this and tell it to design something very similar to it. Now, a quick tip when doing any kind of prompting, I like to do a voice dictation when actually doing my prompting. It just helps to get more of your thoughts out and more clearly communicate exactly what you're looking for. And so I've actually got this Chrome extension, which you can see working right now, uh, which allows me to just speak into the computer and then it puts those words into the app. So I've turned it off, but you can see that all of those words that I just spoke actually ended up right on the page here. Uh, and I'm just gonna talk to it and tell it what I'm looking for. Hey, I'm looking to create a custom bio site. I've just provided you with an example image as to what I'm looking for. I want you to populate all of my links. I'm gonna provide you with all of the links to populate as well, as well as my name and social media contacts. Although I want you to just replicate the design that I gave you. If you could create the background as like a nice blue background. I also would like some animations. If you could do like a galaxy animation with maybe a shooting star flying across, that'd be awesome. I want you to do a custom animation for the mouse cursor as well. If you could make the mouse cursor like a rocket ship, that'd be awesome. So there we go. I just sort of went off the top of my head with a bunch of random stuff that I could add in there. I've added sort of like a blue galaxy background with a, with a rocket ship mouse. This is something that you can go really creative with. That's the big benefit here of doing it custom. Now for my actual details, I will put them in manually so that they get put through correctly. All right, so I've just populated my actual details here. I've just put my name. I've put in three links that I want it to be able to redirect to as well as three social media links that I want it to redirect to as well. So I'm just gonna send this through and see what it creates. Once Repl has done a bit of thinking, it's gonna come back and tell you that there's a few things that it wants to confirm with you. You can either let it just build the entire app based on the sort of feature list that it lays out, or you can start with the design and just iterate with the agent. I'm gonna speed it up a bit. I'm just gonna tell it to build the entire app. It looks pretty solid based on what it's telling me here. It's gonna give you the profile section. Uh, it's just looking at the image to do that. 
It's got the social media links and my other links as well. It's got a galaxy background, shooting star animation, rocket ship cursor, responsive design, and a smooth button hover over animation. So perfect, that looks pretty solid. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna tell it to build it. All right, so Replit has just finished up and we can see here the entire page that it just created for us. So it's made me reference some similar styling in terms of having the name up here, maybe a little bit of bio description and then all the links beneath it. Other than that, it hasn't really referenced it too much, but that's okay. Looks pretty awesome. Actually looks kind of better than the one I've already got at the moment. So it looks super modern. Got some cool animations here. Got the background, the galaxy background that I had mentioned. Shooting star coming across as well. And you can see it's very small, but you can see the rocket sort of on my cursor as well. So it's followed along with all of my instructions. It's done its best to sort of meet those requirements. Uh, and it looks pretty awesome. If I'd like, I can click at the top right here and open this up into full screen. And we can see it as you would actually loading onto the web page. We can close this at the top here. This is just uh, for a development preview. Otherwise, here we go. We've got all of my links here. I've got all of these. As it was building itself, it actually tested all of these links, but I can click on these myself and test that they actually work. Uh, and it looks like they do perfectly as well. So awesome. it's already ready to go. Pretty much this is already usable um, and you can just start to host this yourself. If I come back to Replit, what we're gonna see is that it is already recommending to publish this to a, a URL immediately. So with Replit, by default, you can publish this to your own sort of replit.app domain. So if you don't want it to be on a custom URL, I would obviously recommend it to be a custom URL. This is gonna be a personal website. You can publish this and then when you publish it, it will give you some settings to add your own custom domain to it as well. But we can also see that Replit is also suggesting some other stuff to add to this now as well, which is what you can see at the bottom here. So it's saying that it's created this as the MVP, but it's also identified a task list to continue working on. So if we want to add clicking analytics, which could be useful to see uh, you know, which link is the most popular, dynamic link management and admin tool. So maybe if we don't want to have to ask Replit every time to add these links, we could have a backend admin panel to add our links, which is pretty advanced. Add a custom theme switcher. So that's what I had on my other website with dark mode and light mode. Create a QR code generator for easy mobile sharing whatever, maybe you need that, maybe you don't. Add a visitor counter and engagement statistics as well. So it's literally just recommending a bunch of stuff that you could add. And if we wanted to add it, I could just hit continue building and it would add that all for us. So if I just hit configure myself uh, next to the publish now button on the left, this is gonna take me to the, the publishing page right here. With the URL here, it's got this randomly generated URL that's gonna be added to .repl app. So we can publish to this right away, uh, but we do have to publish it before we can add a customer domain. So you can add your own customer domain after publishing your app. So we'll hit publish and then we can add our domain right after that. But it's super simple. So I just hit the publish button right there, the blue one. And now it's gonna do everything for us. You're gonna see a bunch of code come up. Don't worry about this. Don't get too overwhelmed by it. This is just gonna run automatically for us. It is gonna build it, it's gonna bundle it and it's gonna put it on the website. Uh, and we don't have to do literally anything else. All right, so that process has gone through. Didn't have to do anything. It just did it all for us. And now if I click on this specific domain, we're gonna see the bio site is now populated right here on this domain for us. So we can send this link to anybody and they're gonna be able to access it because this is now publicly online. If we wanted to add our own custom domain, we can just hit buy a domain here. So we can buy a, a domain directly from Replit. If you already have a domain that you wanna use, you can click buy a new domain. You can just click the back button here and then click connect your own domain. Uh, then you can just go through the typical process that's required to get a custom domain connected to Replit. We've been able to get this site up and running very simply. The more creative you are, obviously, the better it's gonna be uh, to just simply prompt it exactly how you're looking for. Although this is gonna save you a good amount of money not having to pay for Linktree or those other platforms out there to do something that is so simple. And once again, if you wanna build this into a more advanced personal blog site or whatever, this is gonna be the way to do it as well. You can obviously provide it with images and it's gonna be able to reference them and use them in the app. If you are interested in building NNN AI agents and automation workflows, check out my five hour course right, which is gonna take you from a complete beginner to a complete pro and master using NNN.